This is a first in 21 years. The Alamo Dome is going to turn a profit for the first time since 2002. Yeah, that was the last year the Spurs called the Dome home. And as the night team's John Paul Barajas reports, it appears what's good for the Alamo Dome could be good for the Alamo City. From big time concerts to the Spurs coming home game and breaking the NBA attendance record. The past year has been busy for the Alamo Dome and its financials are proof of the stadium's strong draw. It's not about the buildings making money. It's about bringing those events to our city and the economic impact from those events are really what these buildings are about. Steven Zito is the assistant director of entertainment for the Alamo Dome. While news of a $1.6 million profit is welcome news, he says his team's main goal is to be good for all businesses. It's one of the main reasons this bar, Francis Bogside, opened at St. Paul Square location back in May. Before the event starts, you can see thousands of people walking. They'll stop in and we get a full house like as soon as we open the door. Alibi's owner Nick Johnson says he's excited to see the resurgence of the Alamo Dome and the drastic difference in business whenever they have an event. The area is popping all the time. We've got concerts going on over the dome. In two days, you do as much as you normally do in a week or a week and a half. A May 2023 study by St. Mary's University shows the Alamo Dome has generated nearly $4 billion for the city of San Antonio and surrounding businesses since it opened in 1993. Zito adds since the Spurs left, they've had to fill 45 additional event days, but it also gives this team an opportunity to bring different entertainment to San Antonio. Disney on Ice, Monster Jam, you know, it's quite the You can't forget the case that makes you classic. That's exactly right. Back out here, the UTSA tailgate is still going strong as the Roadrunners face off USF inside the dome. And this is just one of over 120 events that Alamo Dome has held just this year to help them turn that profit. As for what's to be expected in the years to come, Alamo Dome staff said that's hard to predict, but they already have some big time events lined up like the NCAA Men's Final Four in 2025 and Women's Final Four in 2029. And you can't forget about country star Luke Combs playing here back to back nights this upcoming May. At the Alamo Dome, John Paul Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.